Okay, so the way that would look at home is you'll take one end of the bungee and you'll hook it on the middle hinge of a door, and then you will lie on the floor with the appropriate amount of pillow support underneath your neck and head. You like to have it so that your knees are and hips are bent, so that you're in this hook line position because it will slacken the tissue from below and it will uh, minimize the distribution of forces from your low back through your thoracic cage up into your neck. She will just take the towel and she's going to grab the towel and slide underneath her head and neck. So that the towel gets a purchase around the base of her skull, around her ears, and she can, this angle is a pretty nice angle to have to get the decompression that we're looking for but not have the towel slide off. If the bungee was hooked on the bottom hinge, the pull would be too much along the floor and it would have trouble holding onto the back of the head. So you may have to get a decent length bungee, this is a 40 inch bungee. Uh, the one I have at home, the bungee is shorter so the loop on the towel is longer so we can still get this angle that we want. If she's having a lot of nerve root symptoms so that there is pain down into her arm, then oftentimes when she's in this position the pain will increase because the, the nerve does not like to be stretched and when you decompress the head the nervous system is pulled towards the head cephalad and if the arm is down, it will hold the nerves in a caudal direction. So if the nerve is angry, she will slacken the nerve by making a gentle fist, and then she'll elevate her shoulder girdle on the side, and she'll use her other hand just to support her arm here, and that will slacken the nerves, and is often the position of relief when the neck is bad enough and the nerves are irritated to go into the arm. So it could be that you need to get into this position if having your arm by your side causes a pulling or an ache in the arm. You have to eliminate that by slackening the nervous system. And again, if the amount of pull was not enough, she could simply slide towards her feet. And the bungee cord, of course, would pull tauter, more decompressive force. If she felt that the traction was excessive, then she could simply slide towards the door and take it off. So you'll have complete control over the magnitude of the decompressive force. And again, remember you're looking for just magnifying the benefit of getting off your feet, but not applying a stretch to the connective tissue in your neck. Because oftentimes the neck is vulnerable because the connective tissue has loosened and you don't want to do anything that would overstretch it. So the idea is gentle decompression, not stretch of the tissue. The, the rule often is, especially when people have arm pain, you like the magnitude of the decompression to decrease the arm symptoms by about 50%, and that will be enough. If you try to go for 100%, the other thing that can happen is that it makes more volume, more room around the nerve root. And if there's any tendency for swelling, the swelling is going to say, oh, volume to occupy. More swelling comes in, you think you're fine, you take the traction away, that excess of swelling and now is being compressed by the vertebrae, skyrocketing amount of symptoms. So if you, if you just decompress, it could be the best thing. When she's in this position, if there is irritation and inflammation in the area, she can try to get a pumping action from that with her diaphragmatic breathing. She'll breathe in through her nose, encourage the abdomen and the thoracic cage to rise and fall. So she can be in this position, coaxing the fluid exchange at the same time. It could be a very nice way to treat an irritated neck. Just be careful about not applying too much traction. Again, when we ask people to start, Test the wire slowly, maybe two minutes, very gentle. Once you know that it's okay, you can add a little force and add a little time. Um, if the neck is not irritable, it might feel good to be here for 20 or 30 minutes, but it's not where you want to start.